Honeysuckle Unit 2, 6th Class, English Lesson How the Dog Found Himself a New Master Do you have pet animals, children, in your house? How many of you have pet animals in your house? Very good. What is it? Yes, a dog. Very good. A cat. Oh, parrot. Very good. So, man tames or pets a few animals like the cat, dog, parrot and some other animals. So, here today we have a small story of how the dog found himself a master why he wanted a master and how he found a master shall we get into the lesson passage one dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering about by himself. Here we see a dog. We see a strange dog. All the dogs that were before him were happy with their lives. They didn't have any masters. They were their own masters. But we see a dog which was born which had a different thinking. A dog who was ill-pleased, ill-pleased, not happy with this way of life. And he was even sick or tired of wandering about by himself. He wanted the company of somebody. He didn't want to live alone. Not that he didn't have any other friends other dogs but he wanted something strange let us see why he was ill pleased to live that way looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he here we will get the answer he could not search food for himself so he wanted somebody to be with him. And the other reason is he was frightened of those who were stronger than him. And so he wanted somebody to be with him that nobody else would frighten him. So what he did? Paragraph 2. He thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth and he set out to find such a master. So he decided very strongly to do a best thing. So the best thing he wanted to do was to search for a master who is stronger than anyone on the earth. Why? So that both of them together would go for food and nobody would frighten the dog especially. Paragraph 3. He walked and walked and he met a kinsman of his, a bird wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. So he walked and walked and walked. And at last he found somebody who was stronger than him. So you can look in the picture. The dog, a small creature, but the wolf, a bigger one than the dog. So the dog felt, this fellow, the big wolf who is my kinsman, that means a relative, would be my master. Why? Because the wolf seemed to be strong and fierce. For the eyes of the dog. So the 
let us see how they both started to converse with each other where are you going dog the wolf asked so the wolf asked where the dog was going and the dog answered i am looking for someone to take up service with would you like to be my master wolf so straight away the dog put forward its desire before the wolf it gave an offer to the wolf would you like to be my master who will not like this offer i don't see why not the wolf said and this agreed upon the two of them went on together oh why not you want me to be your master oh i feel very happy because the dog saw the strongest person in the world and so now they both started to move together they walked and they walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose sniffed darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest the dog was much surprised till then dog walked all alone but now as it found its master the wolf and the dog started to walk together they didn't even walk for long but the wolf started to behave in a strange way which surprised the dog the wolf lifted its nose and started to sniff smell something strange and immediately its behavior too was strange it darted quickly off the path it started to move away from the dog and it started to creep into the forest into the bushes deeper into the forest so immediately what's come over you master he asked what what has frightened you so why are you behaving like that my master wolf who frightened you the wolf is telling can't you see there's a bear out there and he might eat up both of us you and me didn't you see that fellow the bear the dog really did not see and even if it saw it would have behaved in a different way but the wolf saw the bear and that is why it started to fear the bear and it said if you two will not run and if i stay here it will eat both of us so come on let us both run away from here that was the suggestion the bear the wolf gave and started to move away from the bear paragraph 5 seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf the dog decided to take up service with him and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master the dog is so clever the wolf ran away but the dog stayed there the dog is so brave we can say and it started to encounter with the bear because it was so happy in his heart why because it saw somebody stronger than the wolf so he doesn't want the wolf any more to be his leader or master so now he left the wolf and he straight away went to the bear and asked him to be his master who will not agree yes the bear agreed to this readily the bear agreed to this readily and said let us go and find a herd of cows i will kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill the dog must have been very happy this was what it was longing for it wanted somebody to walk with him to look for the food to eat and not only that a stronger person so the bear says let us go and find a herd of cows so that we can have a good meal 
So both of them are very happy and they both started to walk. Paragraph 6. They walked on and soon saw a herd of cows. What a good news. Just as they wanted to hunt their food, it was in front of them. They saw a herd of cows. But just as they were about to come up to it, they were stopped by a terrible noise. The cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions. Just as they were feeling happy to see the herd of cows in front of them, there was a great confusion. They stopped hearing to a terrible noise. And they saw the cows running in panic in all directions, mooing loudly. Cows were making different sounds. They saw something and they were afraid of it. And so they were moving this way, that way, in a very confused way. Paragraph 7. The bear looked out from behind a tree. And then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest. We don't know what the bear saw. But it saw from behind a tree some strange creature. And so silently, without telling even a single word to the dog, it started to run hastily means fastly without any delay into the deeper into the forest now why did i have to come here said he to the dog it is the lion who rules the forest in these parts you think that I am the master and I am the stronger person on the earth. Oh dog, it is the lion who rules the forest, do you know? In all these areas. The dog did not understand what the bear was talking. The lion? Who is he? The dog is telling, the lion? Who is he? The dog never saw a lion maybe. Don't you know? He is the strongest beast on earth. The bear replied. You don't know the lion? Oh, the lion is the strongest person on this. Or the beast on this. Uh, so run away from this place. Otherwise you will die. Well, then I will say goodbye to you bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. What a good news you have told me. I want to say goodbye to you, bear. Why? Because there is somebody stronger than you. And you say it is the lion. So I want him to be my master. Goodbye. Coming to paragraph 8. And off the dog went to ask the lion to be his master. How dare the dog is. Isn't it? The bear ran away. But the dog is going to the lion to ask him to be his master. Who will not like that offer? The lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long, long time. So they both lived together because the lion was the king of the forest, strongest beast in the forest. And so there is nobody else stronger than the lion in the forest. And so the dog was happy and both of them had good terms and they stayed for a long, long time. It was not like with that of, what to say, the wolf or the bear. It was a good life and he had nothing to complain of. The dog had no complaints. It felt, oh, I am very happy with the lion. For there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion. And no one dared touch the dog or offend him in any way. The two conditions or the two wishes of the dog got fulfilled having lion as his master. What are the two things? Yes, no complaints. They both together hunted and ate their stomach full. And secondly, nobody dared to come to the dog. They dared to offend the dog. 
Why? Because the lion was his master. It will not spare that particular animal who would dare to touch the dog. So the dog is in the safe side. And so they both were living very happily. Meanwhile, what happened? I thought the story would end here. Why? Because the dog found the stronger beast on the earth, the lion. But the story continues. Let us see what else is the story. Paragraph 9. But one day, the two of them were walking side by side along a path that ran amid bare cliffs when all of a sudden the lion stopped. Till then the lion never stopped for anything. But now, as they were walking in the forest, the lion stopped for some reason. He gave a great roar and stuck the ground angrily with his paw with such force that a hole formed there. Then he began to back away very quietly. Till then, the lion felt he was the strongest beast on the earth. But even the lion started to fear something here. So he gave a great roar and pawed the ground angrily so that there, they formed a hole there. And it started to go back away from the dog into the deeper forest just like the wolf and the bear. What would have happened? Let us read. What is it master? Is anything wrong? Asked the dog surprised. After staying for a long, long time, why is my master lion behaving like this? So what happened? Asked the dog. I smell a man coming this way, the lion said. We would better run for it or we will be in trouble. What is it for our life? Man is coming. You don't know who that fellow is. He will hunt us both. It's better we will run for our life rather be in trouble. Oh, well, then I will say goodbye to you, lion. The dog is very clever. Till this day, for a long, long time, it used the lion. It served the lion. It, it had the lion as its master. But immediately when it saw the lion was afraid of somebody else, it is saying goodbye to lion now. Why? Because I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. That is his determination. So, if lion is not the stronger person, stronger one on this earth, I want that, what to say, creature who is stronger than the lion, stronger than anyone on the earth. So, whom did the dog now want to have as a master? Man, yes, the lion saw the man and ran away. So, who is stronger than the lion? Man. And off the dog went to join the man and he stayed with him and served him faithfully. This happened long, long ago. But to this day, the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master. So who is the stronger or the strongest person on the earth? According to the dog, man. So we can feel really proud of. And how did the dog serve the man? Faithfully. Even till this day. All the dogs are faithful animals. It is the most, man's most loyal servant. So it always loves to walk with its master. Live with its master. Be obedient to its master. I know most of you who are having 
a dog as a pet would have great experiences like this isn't it yes what do you say are dogs really a faithful and loyal servants to man yes so let us feel proud that we are dogs masters are you happy yes